I've got a look for you today featuring lots of pinks and purpley tones. I filmed this tutorial a while ago and I wasn't entirely sure what to call it, but I put a picture up on Facebook yesterday and I had such amazing suggestions for a title. And someone described it as grown up girly, which I just thought was absolutely brilliant because obviously lots of pink, you know, lots of pink tones of makeup can look a little bit girly and sickly. And the look I was going for was definitely something more grown up and glamorous. The lovely model Claire doesn't normally wear makeup in her everyday life. So I really wanted to create something that was quite special occasion for her, a bit like a date night makeup. And um, yeah, so I hope you like it. So I'm going to start by using this L'Oreal Infallible Foundation and this is porcelain. So I'm just aiming to neutralise Claire's skin, take some of this redness down a little bit and this is quite a good colour to do it because it's pale, it matches her skin tone but it doesn't, it's not too pinky so it's not adding to any of the redness. You can see that Claire, underneath Claire's eyes are quite red at the moment because Jessie just did a little bit of plucking, a little bit of tidying up there. But hopefully that's going to go down. I can cover it anyway. Next I'm going to use a tiny amount of the Keramask Concealer. This is light number five. Tiny bit just in the redness here. And also, I'll blend that in in a sec, but also I'm going to do underneath the eyes just to neutralise any of that purple. So that's the little bit of extra concealing done. And I think we've got rid of any unwanted redness, but the skin still looks really natural. So to start eyes, I'm gonna put a base down of this cream long wear shadow from Bobbi Brown, and this is called Pink Oyster. It's quite glittery, but it's really pretty. I'm gonna take this all the way up under the brow area, and I can work the shadow I'm going to use on top of that. And to define, I'm going to use this smoky eye palette by Bourgeois, and this is called Vintage Rose. I'm going to use the deeper shade into the socket. I'm going to use a tissue. Just close your eyes for me, Claire. Just to catch any anything that falls down. It's going to create a really soft, defined socket line. Best way to do this is not have too much on the brush to start with, and then lots of really light circular movements. Much better than sort of pressing hard and trying to draw a harsh defining socket. It's just easier to blend. Next I'm going to use the Revlon eyeliner pencil in aubergine. So I'm just going to pull up the brow and work that into the lashes. Okay I'm also going to do a little bit underneath I'm going to do a little flick, but I'll do that later on the top. So I'm probably going to put some lashes on, I think, anyway. So I'm just going to work that into the corners. Just do it quite messily, because I'm now going to use the middle colour from the Smoky palette. I'm going to use that to blend this pencil in and just softly define underneath. Before I move on with eyes, going to do brows, just going to brush those down. I'm using a MAC lingering pencil. I'm going to draw in a nice arc with feathery strokes and then brush that back over. Create a really nice defined brow. Next I'm going to use the Glam Eyes by Rimmel and this is Intense Plum Liquid Liner. I'm going to trace over that aubergine pencil, just close for me, to add a little bit more sheen. And then just doing in the corners as well. Looks fab on you. Oh, do you like purples? I do, it's my favourite colour actually. Oh good, mm. you're the right person for this tutorial then. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to extend that line once we've done lashes, but I think that's looking really pretty. Okay, so next I'm going to curl eyelashes. Mm. Yeah, you've had this done before, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Find it a bit <laughs> weird. Look down for me. Just focus on something. Find something to look at and keep your eyes on that thing. Don't take your eyes off that thing. It just helps to take your mind off what's happen happening to you. 
Okay, curl the eyelashes, and often when you curl eyelashes, a little bit of liquid liner comes off. So just close your eye. You have to kind of just dab in again the corners. Try to get sort of behind the eyelashes. And just fill in anything that's come off with the curlers. So you're a sports lecturer, Claire. Yeah, that's right. It's nice to be glammed up for a change. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm going to use False Lash Effect Mascara. It's a bit of a tongue twister, that. <laughs> false Lash Effect in black. So just really put plenty on. Look down for me, Claire. Right into the roots. Okay, so I am going to put some lashes on, I've decided, even though yours are amazing. I'm going to use these brown ones by MAC. They're quite feathery and wispy. And I'm going to cut off the longest ones from the outer corner so they're not quite as um, long there. If you need any help putting fake lashes on, I've done a video, a step-by-step, -step, quite long video about it, so please check that out. I'm going to use some dark glue from Duo and put that along. I just need to wait for 30 seconds for this to dry now. And just push it gently into the roots. Perfect, just open for me. Let's see the shape of those. Oh, I love those. Gorgeous. Right, while they're drying, I'm just going to blend the lash band in a tiny bit here using the aubergine pencil again. So next I'm going to use blusher and I'm going to use this really bright pink by Models Own and this is called Cheeky Pink. I'm going to use it in a slightly sculptural way, so just coming around the edge here. So slightly in a C shape onto the cheek. I'm going to have to try and recreate this. Oh, I think you'll be, you'll be able to. Yeah, I love it. You just watch the video back. Yeah, I'll yeah. I'll give you some of the products and then have a go. And let me know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will do, yeah. <laughs> It'd be weird watching it on myself. I know, it will be actually. <laughs> yeah, but I'll try and do it. <laughs> so it must be nice coming here then, this makeup shrine. Yeah, I, I walked in and there was files and files of makeup. It was amazing. <laughs> I usually have the same but full of paperwork <laughs> so it's it's amazing it's like every girl's dream <laughs> so good i'd be in here for hours just rummaging through oh we are <laughs> trying it all on <laughs> okay so that's done i'm just add a teeny bit of highlighter actually i'm going to use this um Jure one which is called camellia it's quite a pale shade and it's also a cream so i'm not going to put too much on your skin's quite dry, so I haven't really powdered it yet. I'm going to put a little bit of powder on. I'm just going to add a touch of this highlighter here. So you teach 16 to 18-year-old boys, Claire. That's right, yeah. Oh, they must be <laughs> madly in love with you. The cheeky little things, yeah. I mean, <laughs> they're a good bunch. They're a good bunch. <laughs> they answer back a lot. Yeah, well... You have to be quite firm with them. Yeah, I've got, I've got them under control, don't oh, worry. Good. <laughs> I'm also going to go back in with the Smoky Eye Palette and just using the really pale shade from that, I'm going to add a little bit of the Pale Rose shade here, just underneath. It's not too pale. It just adds a nice little highlight. I'm just going to go back in with the Jouer highlighter, which I've used on the high points. It's very, very subtle, so you may not even be able to see it on camera but it looks beautiful in reality really really sheer and pretty put a touch on the center of your nose and i'm going to add some onto your top lip there now i'm going to use the number seven lip pencil in nude i'm going to draw slightly over a little bit you've got fantastic lips I know every time I say something fantastic, you say, is it? And you just have no idea how gorgeous you are. Aww. That's what's so lovely about you. 
this makeup's making me feel a bit gorgeous. <laughs> well, you are gorgeous. Because you're so good at it. Thank you. <laughs> You've got to copy this look to yeah. go on a date. I want you to send me a picture. Okay, I'm just going to blend that in a little bit. I'm going to use this Revlon lipstick in Berry. Is it called Berry? Berry Smoothie. I think this looks like a really great colour. I just bought this yesterday. I've heard good things about this formulation. Oh, it's nice and smooth. Looks nice. Slightly, um, sh not shimmery, slightly sheeny. Looks like it would feel nice. Does that feel nice? Rub your lips mm -hmm. together. Yeah, you could feel it when you're putting it on. It feels Smoothing. really smoothing. Yeah. Just part your lips for me a little bit. Okay. In there. That's a really lovely colour on you. I'm just going to add the last touch, which is some mineralised, MAC mineralised natural powder in light. You don't really need much powder because your skin's a little on the dry side, but I think the mineral powder will just set things nicely. If anyone's oilier at home, I think you'd need a bit more powder, although this foundation is very long lasting. I think you'd need to set it. Definitely. And that is it. I think I'm going to let your hair down for your final shot so we get the full glamorous result. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the finished look, and obviously, a bit of a zhuzh in the hair. I think you look gorgeous. I like this look because it's, it's kind of glamorous, but it's very soft. And I think the best word for it would probably be alluring. Oh, thank you. you I like love it, it too, yes. I'm going to show the boyfriend and he'll probably be taking me out for dinner. You better have be. He will be, he will be. <laughs> it's lovely, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs>